Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Grapher. Grapher is a powerful 2D and 3D graphing software package. In this video, I will explain how to customize a Grapher project by editing graphs, plots, and axes. I will demonstrate editing just a few properties of each, but many more properties can be edited in the same way. A graph in Grapher is a top-level object that can contain a variety of plots, axes, legends, and color scales. To edit graph properties, select the graph in the Object Manager. The properties are displayed in the Property Manager. Depending on the type of graph, the properties might include title properties, line and fill properties of the background, fill properties between multiple plots on the graph, and 3D settings. This graph is two-dimensional and only contains one plot, so only the title and background properties are applicable. To edit the title properties, click on the Title tab. In the text box, type the title and press Enter. In the Font section, edit the font properties. A plot in Grapher is a visual representation of the data. To edit plot properties, select the plot in the Object Manager. The plot is named based on a column name in the data worksheet. For a line scatter plot, Grapher uses the information in cell B1. The cell used varies by the plot. The properties displaying in the Property Manager are also dependent on the type of plot. In general, plot-specific properties are displayed on the Plot page, and Label, Symbol, Line, and fill properties are displayed on their respective tab, if those properties are available for the selected plot. A Data Limits tab may be available to limit the plot display in certain worksheet rows or a certain X, Y, or Z data range. Additional tabs may also be available. This line plot shows data from 1998 through 2014. To limit the plot to only display data collected on or after October 10, 2006, we can clip the plot. To do so, click on the Data Limits tab in the Property Manager. In the Clipping section, highlight the existing X minimum date time value and type 10 slash 10 slash 2006. Press Enter on the keyboard to make the change. Notice the plot and the X axis have both been updated to begin displaying on October 10, 2006. The data points are also a bit large for the point density so click on the Symbol tab to decrease the symbol size. The line connecting the points is also a bit thin, so click on the Line tab to increase the plot line width. Axes give the plot values context. Like plots and graphs, axes properties can be edited by selecting an axis in the Object Manager. Axis properties vary by axis type but usually include axis-specific properties on the Axis page. Tick Mark and Tick Label properties on the Ticks and Labels pages respectively. Properties for linking axes on the Link Axis page. And Line properties for the Axis, Ticks, and Grid lines on the Line page. For this graph, the depth units on the Y axis are a bit spread out, so we can click on the Ticks tab to decrease the spacing so that there's a major tick for every two depth units. Additionally, the spacing of the x-axis tabs is not ideal for date-time values, so we can select the x-axis and click on the Ticks tab to set up date-time spacing. Then we can click on the Line tab to add grid lines to the major tick marks. Finally, we can adjust the minimum date time value for this axis on the Axis page. An Axis break can also be added to either axis. To do so, click the Break Axis page in the Property Manager and check the box next to Break Axis. Once this option is checked, the remaining fields become active. The Break From and break two values can be edited by typing in new values. By default, Grapher places the break at 50% of the way across the selected axis and does not include a break symbol in the plot. But symbols can be easily added here by changing the break plot width field.
the brake marks on the axis are easily changed as well by adjusting the settings in the Brake Mark Properties section. As we can see, the properties of an axis brake can be easily customized for either axis and grapher. This concludes the video training for editing graphs, plots, and axes in grapher. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.